The pandemic has seen the entire world working from home and because of this, our screen time has gone up. A recent study has shown that Malaysians look at our screens for 9 hours a day. That also means we are exposed to a lot of blue light. Well, BenQ reached out to us to sponsor a study on the effects of blue light on our health and that gave us the opportunity to speak to a specialist in the field to ask a lot of questions about blue light and how it can affect our health. So without further ado, let me introduce to you Dr. Abirami. I'm Dr. Abirami. I'm an eye specialist in Hospital Bukit Martajam here in Penang. And I've been working in the eye department for the past 10 years. And I've been a specialist for the past three years. Till date, I've performed for about 500 plus cataract surgeries. And that's it. To first understand what is blue light, you first need to understand what is light itself. Light basically is electromagnetic radiation. So we have lights that we can see, we call it the visible light. And then there's light that we can't see, the invisible ones. And the blue light stays on the higher end of the spectrum, which is almost into the non-visible light. So let's get to the important question. How does blue light affect our health? A study has shown that it helps to boost alertness, cognitive and memory functions, as well as elevate your mood. It can also help to regulate the circadian rhythm, the body's natural sleep-wake cycle. But you know how they say too much of a good thing is a bad thing? There are some studies that have said that it can actually damage our retina. And this retina is important because it basically takes the light signal, processes it and converts it into neural signals and sends to the brain so that the brain can process what you're actually seeing. Any damage to your retina is it? Obviously not a good news. Alright, so the age-old question, right? What is the most optimal distance between my eyes and the computer monitor? Well, if you're going to hold a device or even a book, you know, to keep it at an arm's distance. So that's about 50 to 60 centimeter distance. Any closer, your eye will have to squint and then you get this pain. But I think about 60 cm is just nice. So I think the question that we should all know is, how many hours is safe for us to actually look at a computer monitor? Of course, we always tell people, oh, don't stare too long, don't look at screen too long. But you can't tell that to people who actually depend on device or screens, who work about 10 hours a day using computers or gadgets, you know, where they have to do near work. They don't talk much about how it affects the eye uh, in terms of how many hours. We, we always try to stick to this 20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, you take about 20 seconds break to look about 20 feet distance away. So this will help to relax your eye and you don't strain. Because when you're looking at a screen for a long time, we always forget to blink. We focus too long. We don't take a break. And then, you know, our eye muscle is working at that strength for that continuous time. So a little intermittent break, I think it's fair enough. So doctor, I have a light bar placed above my monitor. And do you think that this light bar can help when I am looking at a monitor for extended hours? Well, maybe those computers that do not have the monitors that don't come with this type of light uh, adaptability or brightness adaptability, then the light bar will be helpful. So I got myself the BenQ GW2785TC monitor, which has a technology called Brightness Intelligence Plus, which automatically reduces or increases the brightness of the monitor depending on my surrounding. Do you think that this type of technology is useful to us? And do you think that it reduces the blue light problem? It's a added advantage if your monitor can do that because you have to manually do it right but if you're going from day to night or like you know you are in a place where the room condition changes and all that then yeah it will be an added benefit all right so blue light aside there are many people who are affected by color blindness and that monitor i was talking to you about it actually has a feature called color weakness mode which basically applies a filter on the green and red colors do you think that such a technology will help people who are affected by color blindness yeah of course it can because you see, it's a, it's a misnomer, you know, when, when, when you tell someone is colorblind, everybody perceives that they cannot see colors. Actually, they can see color, but what the color they see is different from what you and I see. They actually can see to some certain level, a certain color. So if, it's, uh, if your monitor is going to have a filter that can help them see better in terms of the colors, then it's, it's helpful. Just before you go, I want to ask your professional opinion. 
Would you recommend these BenQ monitors to those people who are affected by color blindness or maybe those that just want to reduce their blue light intake? For someone who's relying on computer or monitor on a daily basis, then I will recommend something that can do the work for you. So you don't have to, you know, remind yourself, oh, the room is getting dark, you know, I should go and adjust the monitor brightness. I don't have time to think about uh, what is the what is the ambience in my room or what is the brightness in my room. I think if there's something that can help take care of themselves, then of course it's an added benefit, yeah. So for those of you who are interested, this is actually the BenQ GW2785TC. It is a 27-inch monitor which supports full HD resolution and has a maximum brightness of 250 nits. What's also nice is that this monitor has a refresh rate of 75Hz. And what's unique about this monitor is that it actually has a built-in microphone which has noise cancelling capabilities and a dedicated button for you to mute that mic. So it's a great monitor for conference calls as well. But most importantly, it has a range of features called eye care, like flicker-free, low blue light, which keeps the nasty blue light from affecting our eyes, brightness intelligence plus technology, and color weakness mode. So there you have it, guys. I really hope that you learned something in this video, and I hope that Dr. Abirami has taught you a lot of things on how to protect your eyes or just have an overall better working experience. So guys, if you have learned something in this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe and that bell button to get updated with our latest video. Oh, and also if you're interested in checking out this monitor or maybe just getting it for yourself, I've left some links in the description below. And with that guys, I'll see you in the next video.